It has been roughly three years since Mercedes-Benz Trucks debuted its mirror cam system on the Actros, the first series production truck to feature the technology. Local introduction followed towards the end of 2019 and the trucks entered service in 2020. Now, two or so years later, the system has had ample opportunity to prove itself in various applications, or not, so let's find out. This feature is based on one simple question. When does the implementation of technology go too far? More specifically in this instance, is replacing the traditional simple wing mirror with cameras and screens simply implementing technology just for the sake of it? So we thought there could be no better way to find out than to get in as many Mercedes-Benz, Actros and Aurox models in as wide and varied a range of applications as we could fathom, then we could hear it from those who use mirror cam every day, the drivers and the operators, exactly what they thought of the new technology. Mercedes-Benz touts the mirror cam as a digital rear view mirror that improves all round visibility and facilitates manoeuvring and cornering. Its core components consist of two streamlined arms mounted on the roof frame which house the cameras. Inside, rigidly mounted to the cab's eight pillars, are two 15.2 inch portrait orientated displays. These have a resolution of 720 by 1920 pixels, the top two thirds of which show the main mirror view and the lower third the wide angle. Controls are found as usual in the door module, as well as the infotainment system. There are also buttons on the passenger side and by the bed to activate the mirror cam when the truck is switched off. According to Mercedes-Benz, the system has many advantages, the first of which is claimed to be a 1.5% reduction in fuel use due to the elimination of wind resistance caused by the traditional mirror housings. On a more practical basis, the claim is enhanced view, both ahead and behind. Once again, the lack of a physical mirror housing alongside the cab means a wider view through the side windows. Calibrated distance lines help the driver more accurately gauge how far behind following vehicles are, with the location of the truck's rearmost extreme also indicated. And when overtaking, changing lanes and turning, mirror cam displays red, orange and yellow markings to indicate whether it's safe to move. And when reversing and cornering, the display changes to a special view specifically for manoeuvring. For our research we selected six individual operators, all with diverse and varying applications within the industry. This would help give us a true and unbiased snapshot of just how mirror cam is performing in the real world. We started out with Wirree Base Reliance Transport and one of the company's Aurox 32468 4s with quad axle self steering swing lift trailer and assistant transport manager Mac Maradi at the helm on some typical metro container duties. Then it was a run south with Andrew Porter and his Aurox 32468 4 and dual axle Jackson Engineering 10 car transporter combination he pilots for Auckland based Car and Haslam on his typical daily swap jaunt down to Turangi. Next it was the eye-catching 2653 Actros 6x4 tracked unit and Roadmaster Triaxle flat deck semi combination for Perry Metal Protection of Hamilton. Driver and 20 year Perry's veteran Jeff O'Sullivan was at the wheel delivering clients products to sites throughout Auckland as well as the Greater Waikato. Then heading southwest from there we caught up with owner driver Kevin Hartley and his stunning two year old Aerox 3263 8x4 logging unit complete with full stream space cab contracted to total log haulage dragging logs from deep out of the Taranaki on some challenging skid sites and bush access roads. Then it was a jump across the Cook Strait into Karamea for a catch up with the team at SM Low Contracting and their Aerox 2646 6x4 track unit set up for all manner of rural and farm work as well as council and civil. This work has the Aerox running head first into all manner of nasty situations and some very tight spots as well as at times rather nasty west coast weather. And from here it was due south and on to our sixth Murakam adoptee, TSL, Transport Services Limited of Nightcaps. Here we caught up with their Aurox 1840 4x4 bulk spreader and its regular driver Rodney Heenan in the midst of a job typical of its regular daily life cruising about paddock to paddock in the rural countryside of the deep south. It certainly has been an interesting journey the length and breadth of the country hearing the first hand experiences of these operators and early adopters of Murakam technology. A plethora of comments came through from these users that couldn't be more varied or diverse. There were those areas where the technology was perceived as superior to a conventional mirror and then there are also those criticisms that felt that the system was lacking in certain applications and that a little more research and development was required. See, as I was saying, hardware, the camera is showing me the back of the trailer, so I can, yeah. 
the way, a normal mirror wouldn't have done that. So this is a view you would have had if it was a normal mirror. And this is what the camera is showing me. I can see my last axle with everything clear as I'm going around the corner of the yeah. As with all new frontiers, there will always be a little trial and error along the way. And now with the recent announcement from Mercedes-Benz trucks of Generation 2 Miracam, we cannot wait to see the improvements. Stay tuned. To capture our full report on the Mercedes-Benz Miracam technology, then catch a copy of the April 2022 New Zealand Trucking Magazine. Or jump online by clicking the link below and get taken straight through to nztrucking.co.nz. Thanks for dropping by to check out this video. Remember to like and subscribe. Have a great month out there and travel safe. G'day, Murakam.